What do you reckon? Any good? What, two inches? <laughs> That's about right, isn't it? That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, the start of our Q&A. Just measuring up. And that's because Johnny Bruce asked us who has the biggest love length. <laughs> Welcome to Fresh Fishing. I'm Wayne. And I'm Foxy. And... Uh, yeah, we well, we we haven't actually seen each other since France. Literally, we have been yeah. Obviously, when we were supposed to come to, to Wellham, he wasn't very well, so he, he didn't make it in the end. Mm -hmm. And we haven't had any other sessions since, and we've both been dead busy with work and family life. So this is the first time we've seen mm -hmm. each other since France. Yeah, it is. It and is. we just thought, well, there's a couple of things going on, so we thought. We haven't got a video out together, so let's do a Q&A. We've seen a lot of other channels doing it. Um, I think people tend to like this kind of thing. Um, but we've got a few things to talk about, haven't we? Yeah, we do. And we wanted to welcome you in to the Fresh Fishing Studio. Yeah. Look we've actually that. we've actually got a studio now. We do. It's just it's just Foxy's garage. It's my garage. <laughs> if, if I turn the camera on, it's an absolute shit tip. And actually. My my fishing gear behind isn't the tidiest, is it? So hey, it works. Does it works. the job. What's first? Do so we want to talk about oh these. You know, like when um, little. You know, like when footballers score and they kiss the badge. Yeah. Mwah, that's Fresh what fishing. I feel like doing. Yeah. So. Mwah. What is it? It's, we've been doing the channel now like two years or something. And has it been two years? I think it was September twenty nineteen. Oh, I think it was September 19th. <laughs> <laughs> I think, no, I just remember September 2019 in my head for the first time we put a video on. Uh, okay. That's what I got in my head. But Jeez. we've had people asking the whole time about merch. Because obviously we've made like done a few bits ourselves, wore them yeah. on the channel. And we get people asking all the time. So we thought, we'll bite the bullet, we'll get it sorted. What we've done with this one is we've got these done as samples we've put the website together which i'll link in the description below so if you want to get a hoodie we've got some joggers we'll we'll but put some little um things over the top of our faces here with some shots of yeah the, of the different well like bits. you know like so we initially we had planned to like properly get the website out in the new year with like you know a big kind of range on there and um it was actually one of my wife's friends right so my wife's friend's son and her fella watched the channel and then she realised that, oh, she was like, oh, I know that guy. I've seen him on Facebook, on my friend's profile, etc. Um, and her little boy has been desperate for a, a, a beanie. So, obviously a woolly hat. So, um, it was my wife that said, look, why are you waiting until after Christmas, you know? Get, Try and get out, get before, out before, before Christmas. Christmas. You know, it, it'll make for some good Christmas presents or... You know, if you want to buy yourself something beforehand, whatever. Yeah. Um, so we thought we'd just get together like a small range, basically. So that's essentially what we've done. We've got a hoodie, a set of joggers, which are matching. Um, you've seen a stand up, but as you got, can see, got the fresh fishing logo there as well. Fresh mm -hmm. fishing logo up here. They're actually decent. They're nice. And then we've got this beanie, which is it's like a green and black beanie, and then the fresh fishing on it is like it's a bit hidden, really. Yeah. So you can just see it. So it's like the black on black effect, but you got like the little yellow fish. So, so you're representing fresh fishing with these, you're but proper you're going a little bit undercover as well. Yeah, you? exactly. So it's not too in your face. And then this is one that we did, we've had for a while now, and it's through the same supplier that we're using. So we're going to get that on the site as well. Um, so yeah, you can buy them. You can buy them all now. What we're doing is pre-orders. So you basically put your order in now. Once we get a bunch of orders, we'll send them to the supplier, we'll get them sorted, and then as soon as we get that sorted, you'll be getting your orders. So we're hoping you'd get them around early December, yeah. just in time for Christmas. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And, and I'll tell you what, inside. if you go for this this colour beanie with it, look at you. Look at you. How carpy do I look? So carpy, mate. <laughs> Mr. Carpy. Proper carpy, yeah. So, what, uh, is this one 15? Yes. 15, I think we've got yeah. on the site for. So yeah, treat yourself. And this, I think we'll put on... I think that'll be 20 because the cost oh, price of it for us is a little bit that. more. 
so that'll be 20. Um, but yeah, treat yourself, you know, show your missus, send the link to your missus, get her to get you something for Christmas. Exactly. Look, if you don't want anything, you don't have to get it. The only reason... Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, the only reason we did it is because we get so many people asking yeah. and we thought, why not? You see, We see other, other little brands and stuff out there kind of mm. putting clothing out, so why yeah. the hell not, do you know what I mean? We've got a cool brand name, Fresh Vision, you know man. I mean? It's fresh. It's absolutely it's dope. fresh. <laughs> So now we're going to get into a box. So I'm going to get the laptop out of the way. It was a box, mate. Box. Cheers. So we've got. Oh, mate, I'll just do a little. Focus. Focus, Jimmy. Focus. It's not focusing. This is last minute, so I actually nearly killed myself getting this beer tonight. Joe, you know I'm glad you told me you'd got them because I was. It got to half five when I left work. I know because I said I'd text you at lunch, didn't I? You did, and you didn't text me. I thought I'm not going to text him because then he'll just tell me to go get it. <laughs> and I thought I'll just leave him. I can rely on Foxy. But we've got Cobra, and yeah, as I say, it was last minute, so I, we couldn't look for it. But I'm sure someone recommended this. I think someone said, someone's definitely said Cobra or Kingfisher. One of the two, but someone might have said Cobra. Okay, I'm pretty sure I've had one of these in the past, but I, can't I really think you get these in an so. Indian usually. Yeah, you get Cobra on tap, I think. Mate, it's been a long time since we had a box. Last one for me and you was in France together. So, well, oh, I love it. Do you know what? I'm like, it's, it you, feel, can't, you can't beat the, the taste just of feels a cold, like I just fresh need, beer. I just, I've had a hard day. I need a beer. Mm. Do you know what, right? I have become a proper beer drinker. Yeah? Yeah. You know, like, turned you. where I actually crave a beer. You, yeah, enjoy them. Right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Should we talk some, some of the details? What we what we're going in? It's 4.5%, I think I've just seen. It's global multi-award winning beer medalist. And, and it embossed on the bottle, it says complex recipe. So you ain't making this at home. Ah. And it's brewed smooth. Do you know what? It is smooth though, isn't it? Mm, it dead is smooth. smooth. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> and these bottles, to be fair, I think it was like two for four quid. Do you know what though? What? It's making me want a curry. Yeah. I want to eat a curry now. Yeah, you associate it with curries, mm. don't you? Can't go wrong with that though. Mm, it's nice. It's good. What we what we say in numbers? I think it's quite solid. I think, for me, I've been going eight. Solid, solid. Beer. I wanted to do a half point, but I know we don't do that. So, <laughs> I'm going to go an eight as well. Mm. I wanted to go eight and a half, but yeah. I won't push it up to a nine, but it's a solid. Yeah, it's probably, it's, nine's like. It's a solid eight. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, like, you could, you could have a good few of them. Mm. Very nice. I bet loads of people have had Cobras though, because they're quite mm. a common beer, aren't they? Like I can say, you usually get them at curry houses. So the, it must be from India, is it? Don't know where it's from. Where Brewed it's from. and bottled in the UK. I'm pretty sure it's an Indian beer. Pretty sure, which is why you always get it in the in the Indian. But yeah, that was Cobra. That was a beer of the session. And that was an eight. An eight. Salut. Lovely. Mmm. So now we've got our beers, we can get onto the Q&A. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so question number one, question number one. Um, Johnny Bruce. Johnny Bruce, so first it was, who's got the biggest love length? We've already done that one, it's about the same. <laughs> the second, his second question oh. was, brown sauce or red sauce? Well, Southerner, aren't I? <laughs> so don't do brown sauce. Red sauce on everything. I right. don't even like brown sauce, to be honest. Do you know? I'm a big brown sauce advocate. Northern, though, isn't it? I love it. I absolutely love brown sauce. So, yeah, I'd, I'd choose brown sauce. I do like ketchup, not going to lie. Yeah. I have it on certain things, but like if I'm having a bacon sandwich or whatever, brown sauce. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I probably do like brown sauce, but like I, can't, really try I tried it. it when I was a kid, probably. Didn't like it back then. Haven't really gone back in for the kill on it. <laughs> You need to try it what again. Is it? is it just like barbecue sauce? No, it's like a bit vinegary, but it's nice. It's like tangy. It's a tangy. I probably will like it. I think you will like it. Next next session we're on, 
If we're making we'll bacon sarnies, have a bit of brown and bacon sarnie. Yeah. yeah. Craig Smith, he's got two questions. Uh, just ordered the active bait boat. Do you lads still recommend them? Absolutely. All day long. 100 million. All day long. In fact, I think we should buy another one just for the so. crack. Yeah, I think, I think the guys who make it, Boatman, should give us one actually because we're yeah. influencers now. And I think, yeah, honestly, at least 10 boats have been bought off of the video we did on 100%. it, the fact that we use it. I don't know who it was, but my dad was at um, Southfield where we, me and dad had done a video and he met a couple of lads who recognised him and basically said they'd just bought the same boat as us, so that's definitely one that I know. Yeah. But yeah, that boat is top notch. It does ex everything you need it to, cracking. Yeah, hundred percent. Have we got a quality. date for so uh, social at Woodlands? We'll answer that one later because we've got a few about that, so we will answer that mm -hmm. shortly. Yorkshire carp angler, will you be doing UK blanks season two? Mate, hundred percent. Yes, we will. Hundred percent. It might be a little bit earlier than um, than it because mm -hmm. last last year we did it kind of like m real middle of summer, did, didn't we? It was a good time for it though, wasn't it? It was, it was. But we've got a few things on next year and it may be, it may be, we might have to do it in April, I think we were looking at. That could still work, yeah. So it could, uh, just before the fish spawn, it's starting to get a bit warmer, hopefully, if bloody global warming sorts itself out. Could be a good time. We have got a, a couple of venues in the pipeline for that as well, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, 100% that's on the card. Obviously, the first UK blanks was epic. We absolutely loved it. It'll be it. hard to top. It'll be hard to top. But yeah. it, do you know what? It's not just about like how many fish we catch and stuff. It, it's the journey, isn't it? And yeah. the whole, the whole pitch. One of the stuff. highlights of the last one were like the people that we met. Meeting a lot of people. Yeah, Wasn't every it? single venue, different people in that. Definitely, definitely. We'll UK blanks again. too. It's coming. Well, look, we want to do UK blanks for the next few years. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. It's, it's. It comes from the whole Euroblanks thing, and they did it for a few years. So hopefully we can do it for for longer. Yeah. Who are we is up to? Teabagging Dixon. Oh, Teabagging Dixon. Great, great name. Will you lads be joining? Oh, this. Ah, oh, here we go. This is the question I was looking for. Will you lads be joining any syndicates or just doing day tickets next year? The answer is yes. We will be joining a syndicate. Right. So the reason behind this. So obviously we've just mentioned two years in. We've been doing fresh fishing now. Um, and you know, yeah, we've done day ticket lakes from, from day dot basically. really. Yeah, um, that's all we've done. And we want to kind of, you know, I think with syndicates, there's a bit more mastery involved, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot more about learning the lake, isn't there? And and you are building a picture of the lake over time. So we can, if you join a syndicate, we can do a twenty four hour and go away and think. I've learned something there where you, you go to a day ticket venue, you do 24 hours, then you go to another day ticket venue and it's completely different, mm -hmm. you know, so there's, we, we want to we wanna join a syndicate for that reason exactly, to, to go somewhere, learn a lake and catch the fish that, uh, like the pit, the named fish, that kind of thing, don't we? Yeah, but that doesn't mean to say that we're not still going to, you know, we're not just going to do that syndicate lake every single time we're no. out and about, because obviously that's going to be you know potentially boring viewing because you're just seeing the same place over and over yeah. so we are going to mix it up yeah um the idea is basically we'll we'll have like a separate playlist on the channel for the syndicate mm -hmm. and every time we go there and we, we put an episode out it will just be a syndicate episode obviously if we do any any day ticket venues that'll just be a separate video yeah the trout fly fisherman question to both what's your best purchase to date equipment Ooh. wise I would say together the boat. Yeah. Because we bought the boat together and the boat's been phenomenal. Personally, for me. Just, I know what you're going to say. What? You're in love with your bivvy, aren't you? <laughs> I was just looking at it. And a bit, I do. I am. I do love my little bivvy. Mm. I think it is. It is top notch. Mm. It's expensive, but it's going to last me a while. And yeah, I, I would say my bivvy. I'm just looking around at all my gear. There's, I've got some other good ones, like. But I, I mean, but, we all know what I'm like. I'm a bit rubbish at buying new gear, but my best purchase to date is something you cannot go without on, you know, whether it be a day session, night session, 48 hour, whatever. Kettle, man. Yeah, to be fair. Kettle, my kettle is the best purchase. And 
It was only like 15 quid. Oh, listen, I'll be honest, right? I've had three kettles in the time he's had one and none of mine matches kettle. I've said it. <laughs> I've said it. I've yes. Said it. Yes. It boils so quickly and everything. It is. It is. It's an NGT one, isn't it? I as think well. so. I don't even know. It, it is a cracking kettle. I'm sure it's NGT because I remember you buying like the set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You bought like right. you had like the little like that's kitchen right. set that's and right. the kettle came that's with right. it, and it is top notch. Yeah. I mean, listen. We obviously we all need a bed. We all need a bivy. We all need a sleeping bag. But that kettle. I mean, is if you ain't brewed unreal. up on a bank, like. You're missing out. You need to be, don't you? Yeah, so. 100%. So, yeah, I'm going to say my kettle, mate. He's got another question, trout fly fisherman. I've never fished for carp, but thinking about starting, I'm um, considering going straight into specimen. Do you think this is okay, or would you advise getting into feeder first? Um, I'll be honest. Like, it, it depends. Yeah, I'd definitely get into feeder first. Me personally. Well, we obviously took that route, so I was going to say, even if you bought a cheap feed rod and you did a few sessions, literally just to feel how the carp move and play the carp a little bit, mm. even if you're catching a single figure carp, I think it would be worthwhile. You think about it, right? It's a completely different ball game. Even when you're catching just 15 pound carp, right? Yeah, yeah, 20. You go from catching like five, a five pounder yeah. to then just upping it to that 15 pound. Yeah. Big like they play so much differently, they fight so much differently. Mm -hmm. Like it's you've got to learn your trade, haven't you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I would definitely advise. Like I say, if you don't want to spend too much, you don't have to spend a great deal. We bought feeder rods for like mm. you're talking twenty, twenty five quid with a with a, a feeder reel, um, mm. and that did the job. Like mm. because then essentially what you're doing when you move from feeder fishing to specimen angling is it's the same setup you're just starting to use alarms and stuff aren't you mm. like we use our feeders all the time just mega like bigger feeders and stuff so mm. but it's good to I, I think i've seen a few of your comments before mate um and I, i'm sure i've seen you say that like watching our channels kind of spiking your curiosity to get into carp fishing which is interesting because he's obviously fishes for for trout and does fly fishing yeah so you'll have to take us fly fishing at some point because we'd love to have yeah a, have a definitely pop that. definitely but yeah no i'd i'd at least you know get out maybe do 10 15 maybe even 20 sessions feeder sessions maybe not that many i don't know actually. where you are as well like if you're local but like woodlands is cracking just to mm. to learn your trade and then just start catching carp because the the rammed of carp so Lee Horn, this is the last one from YouTube. Hello lads, watch you since the first episode, North East lad myself. What are your main aims in YouTube? Is it a dream of yours to eventually be on a level of the likes of Ali Hamidi, Spooner and the lads at that level? I believe you can do it and would you ever pursue YouTube as a full career? Keep it up lads. Well, hopefully my employer's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, thanks for that um, question, Lee. Yeah. Um, and again, appreciate, you know, the fact that you've been watching the channel from day dot. Yeah. Listen, like, come on. If you're, whatever you, like, sport you do, sport you love or whatever. If you could do it for a living. If you could do it and get paid, then, you know, you're going to snatch someone's hand off at it, aren't you? Of course you are. I mean, yeah. we both wanted to be footballers, but. Not that good, are we, sir? Nah. <laughs> We're nah. all right, though. We're all right. <laughs> We're all right. We can mix it with the 40, 50-year-olds. Um. <laughs> nah, I think you're on the right track there, there, Wayne, mate. Like, if you can do something that you love and get paid for it, of course. Listen, the dream would be to, you know, fish Monday to Friday and get paid, spend the weekends at home with the family. Yeah. Yeah, so if that if that opportunity came along, of course we're gonna grab it with both hands. But at the same time, it's not why we kind of got into it. It's not why we started the channel. We nah. didn't start the channel because we wanted to be the next Spooner or the next Ali. Don't get me wrong, or... they inspired us because we were watching Monster Carp yeah, at the time. Yeah, Monster they did Carp, massively yeah. inspire us. But yeah, we didn't do it for that. We we literally did it to start looking at venues, and that that was it. I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't even expect us to have the subscribers and you know the the following that we have now. So yeah, I didn't expect you know to eventually one day be you know rocking up on ITV two four. Oh, is it ITV it's four? four. It's only four. Still good though. Yeah, I would. I didn't expect to be rocking up on ITV four. Um, but if it did, ca if it did come along. Yeah, we'd 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 grab it with both hands. Of course, you would. I think we'd uh, I think I think we'd smash it. Yeah, I think we would smash it. Not big part. headed or nothing, but yeah, we'd smash it. <laughs> Definitely. Cheers yeah. to that question, Lee. Cool. Right now we're on to the Insta ones. So, 
Pippa Young. She's got two very out there questions. Pineapple or pe pineapple on pizza? Pippa, no. Pineapple on pizza is no good. It's a yes from me. Oh, and actually, no, no. if you watch one of our early episodes at oh, we Tees Valley, yeah, yeah, yeah. we got pizzas, didn't we? And I got pineapple on pizza. Yeah. So yeah, I'm all for it. I think it's cracking. Do you know where? It, listen, I love pineapple, and I love pizza. But you just don't like. But them just too. not together. No, no. Do you have any or outy belly buttons? <laughs> I love these questions, Pippa. They're great questions. Um, well, I've got an any. I've got an any. Mine's so deep you can get lost in it. <laughs> it's like a black hole. Is it? You know, in space. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. M one of my mates, Aaron, he actually just, every time he's like with me, he puts his finger on my belly button. Weird. I know. <laughs> he loses it. He goes, <laughs> yeah. he goes up to the Cool. So, Mr. Catchy Cop. Oh, we, all, th we knew this question was uh, always going to yeah. be coming. Who is the best angler? Well, I, I don't know. I think there's like... I think we've both got our strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of like a... Instinct angler. I'm an instinct angler, yeah, yeah. Foxy, as we know, is a lot more organised than me. So he will come prepped with, you know, different baits, different hooks. But it doesn't always necessarily work. So he has the option to kind of, you know, flip and change. But to be fair, because we're always fishing together, I just don't buy it and bring it because I know he's got <laughs> it. And I just take his gear. So... I would say... I wouldn't say... Look, we always say... Fishing's massively about luck as well. You know, it's about mm. being on the fish and stuff. I would say we're probably at the same level, really. Yeah. Um, it's just sometimes who gets the better swim and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. That matters a lot in fishing, doesn't it? 100%. You know, like... Where, you, where, you, where you're plotted up... Where your rigs um, are. Are they around fish, basically? No, it is tight. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm better than Foxy because I don't really think I am. No, I wouldn't sit here and say I'm better than Wayne. So we're, we're both not big-headed enough to, to do that. And look, we always fish as a team. We like to do that. Mm -hmm. Old Man River's better than both of us, all right? Yeah, Old Man <laughs> <laughs> And the worst fisherman out of the fresh fishing crew is Jordan. Yeah. He's stopped fishing since he catches PB, so uh, he can just do one. Yeah. Right, now we've got a set of questions here all together. Um, and they're all kind of the same thing and we had one before which was asking similar things so let's so just go through the questions and then we'll Logan 132 will you ever be doing a fresh fishing social at Woodlands then we've got Reese Malcolm when will you be doing a video with viewers and then Jay asks will you ever want to come fishing with me <laughs> Jay. Jay Jay no I don't want to fish with you alright just go away <laughs> No, I'm joking. Um, so yeah, fishing with subscribers. Jay, yes, we want to come fishing. No, actually, you, you can come, come fishing, fishing with, with us. us. <laughs> um, we get asked this all the time. We get a lot of people getting in touch with us. Obviously, there is that many that we can't go, oh yeah, we'll come fishing with you. Um, we've met a few subscribers here and there, um, but we've decided in December, we're going to arrange a day. I think we've, like, we've mentioned it on some forums before or whatever, but... Woodlands for a day, December. What date is it? The 12th, 12th, is it? It's the 12th, yeah. Let me just double check. Yeah, it is, because I've got my work Christmas Sunday. party on the 10th. That's why I didn't choose the 11th. All right, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, Sunday the 12th, Woodlands, be there or be square. We're going to be booking out one of the match lakes. Um, so you'll have to obviously come and pay for your ticket, but just come to the lake and someone will come around and collect the money. There, yeah. We'll put it on social media or... We'll put a message on um, YouTube to say exactly which lake because we haven't de we have decided that yet. But it's going to be one of the five match lakes, and yeah, we, me and Wayne are probably going to take a couple of rods between us, sit on a peg together, but then we're going to come round and try and try and chat to everyone. And I mean, listen, like what we want to do is obviously we want to have this kind of little social kind of fishing um, session, but. You know, if if we were to all just kind of sit there fishing, do you really get to interact with us much? Yeah. No, not really. So, we want to spend most of the time kind of walking around, spending time with you on your pegs, having a chat with you. We are going to be filming it. We are going to be doing a video as well. So, obviously, we want to get all of you in the video. We want to get. Um, I really want to get a big picture of everyone in if we can. Yeah, that'd be class. That'd be sick, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah, we're gonna spend a lot of the time kind of coming round, spending time with you like, on your pegs. Um, yeah, plotting up, maybe having a beer or two. Um, yeah, and then if, if the if the bar's open as well, we'll we'll go in there afterwards. If it gets yeah. too cold and we fancy a beer, we'll yeah. we'll go in the bar and have a beer afterwards. But so yeah, 
what is it, Sunday the 12th. We'll put out a bit more detail in terms of which lake and, and the time. Because um, obviously we want to get there before everyone. So we can we can get set up and then once we're set up we can get round to everyone and, 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 and say hello. Yeah, definitely. So we are actually really excited for that because... We've been saying it for ages, haven't we? It is something that, yeah, literally like a year, about a year. Yeah. We have. That's, That's quite embarrassing. We said we we're going to do Sorry a charity that. match that hasn't worked out and stuff. So, so this this is the social, and hopefully it'll be a yearly thing or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Cool. So, what's something you look back at oh, and that- cringe at when you started fishing? So yeah, so that's Jordan Scott Clamp. So that's a good question actually. And um, to me, what springs to mind is carp care. Mm. Uh, and what I mean by that is that I don't. You know, we've never trepped the carp badly or anything like that, but. When we started fishing at Tees Valley, I remember sending our first video to Steve, who's the owner, and he he was like, oh, "I really like the video and stuff." A few things that were like kind of stuck out to me is carp care, and a lot of the time we were standing up with the carp, mm. which obviously is a big no-no. Even doesn't matter what size they are, because the minute they jump out your hand, they're falling from a meter, two meter, whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's quite a height. Mm. So I think that's that's the thing that stands out to me. That I think I oh, cringe. And I see lots of people doing it, but you don't know until you get told. Mm. It's one of them things that you need to learn by being told, isn't it? Otherwise, because fishing's one of these things that anyone can pick up and do. Mm. Um, mm. But I would say that for me. Yeah, I think something similar for myself. I think I remember, it might not have been on camera, but I remember weighing a fish one time. Um, I didn't, I don't think I zeroed the scales. Right. I think I held the scales the wrong the way. The wrong way. I like like that. held the actual scales. Yeah, and when you look, when I think back to that, I'm like, oh my God. Like, I can't remember the weight the fish was, but whatever it was, it was wrong. <laughs> Probably two or three pounds over. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, obviously you live and learn, don't you? Um, but I'll be honest, every time I watch a video of us, I cringe because I just look at myself and go, uh, do you? Oh, yeah. Imagine being me. I've got to edit the bastards. <laughs> but yeah, I'd say, I'd say, yeah. Obviously, just like making like mistakes that you probably don't even realise you're making at the time. Yeah, but I mean, not getting off uh, philosophical in that, but you learn through mistakes, don't you? In life and in fishing, like yeah, you do. Like you need to make the mistakes, or you need someone to tell you. Oh, by the way, you shouldn't stand when holding a carp. Do you know what I mean? It's so. It's one of them things, but yeah, I think that that's hmm. that's answered that question. Yeah, hopefully. Alfie Bambara, how did yous become yous? How did yous yous yous? <laughs> how did yous become good mates? Well, we've kind of. I We're mean, not mates. I don't really like. I fucking hate him. He's a <laughs> fuck. Um, no, we we've mentioned this obviously a few times uh, over the last couple of years on certain videos, but we met. I moved up north for just over four years ago. Um, started working at a digital marketing agency, and yeah, Foxy. I overheard Foxy saying to someone that he was going fishing with his dad um, on the weekend. So it spiked my interest. I had only been yeah, I'd, I probably hadn't been fishing for about two years, two yeah. three years, and I was obviously looking for mates because I was Billy no mates when I first moved up. So I started talking to him, said to him, look, you know, where are you going fishing? Like, like how long have you been fishing for, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And um, and Foxy was kind enough to say, look, you know, next time we go, do you fancy coming? So next time he went, he asked me, and obviously I went, and yeah, we just kind of kept going, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. It literally just started as as that, like you know, uh, we were just going. Every time I'd go, I'd be like, I'm going fishing on the weekend. Do you fancy it? And it was it was the the three you normally see me, him, and my dad. Yeah. And we'd always go, and and then eventually we decided let's start filming it. So. Yeah. So yeah, sliding sash solutions. Why is Wayne so ghetto? So sliding sash solutions, sh sh solutions. <laughs> that is one of my mates from London. <laughs> Um, and he knows why he's so ghetto because he's one of his mates from London because he's probably ghetto too. Do you know what I mean? He's just as ghetto. Um, it's because I'm from the ends, isn't it, blood? Something like that. Saint like that. Saint like that. Sam Abraham, what rods do you use? Well, I think you can see him behind Wayne. <coughs> I use the Daiwa Black Widow rods, 10 foots, and can't knock them. Um, I know mine are avid. Avid Exodus, yours are. <laughs> He knows better than me. Twelve foot, three pound test curve. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Foxy. <laughs> but they're, they're good ones as well, aren't they? Yeah, do you know what? I, I do really like them. However, obviously... The, you want some 10 footers, don't you? I, I really want... The free ones, spirit, the free spirit ones, because yeah, even though France, those were twelve yeah. footers, those free spirit ones, but they had two point seven five tusks. But they looked, I don't know, they just seemed shorter than my twelve footers. Mm. I don't know, it was nice weird. ones there. Um, they were twelve footers that literally played like ten footers, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, they, they they were quality, but I think you're talking like. 150, 200 a rod for them. So yeah, when we get the sponsorship and we get them for free, that'll yeah, do. yeah, Leo McLaughlin, yeah. Who came up with a channel and how did it start? So obviously we touched on the fact that um, we met in work, we started going fishing together and it was like when we first started going to Woodlands, wasn't it? I think we was on, I think we were on Kestrel Lake. Yeah, it was Kestrel. And we had an amazing session and obviously back then. I tell you what, I think I've still got some of the footage where we were pissing about. Oh. Should I put it in? Like we, so we we were like messing about, saying, "Should we start filming it?" And then there's, like, a I was clips. filming like portraits, so I didn't know what I was doing, and we were like messing on, thinking this is how it would be. All the best, son. All the best. All the best. <laughs> <laughs> is this for the outtakes? Yeah. But it was that day that you said we were just discussing it and. What one of the things we noticed when we were going to different lakes, there wasn't any videos. There, you know, you could read a little bit about the venue and stuff, but there was never any like real social proof to see people. That had no, but it started so because we had such a a great session on Kestrel, and obviously we weren't too aware of like woodlands, match lakes, etc. Were we really? We was quite amazed by the session we had. So when we was kind of leaving there, I said to Foxy, "Oh, mate, how good would it have been if we would have filmed?" all of it uh, if we would have filmed all of that um, just for ourselves to look back on like for memories and then Foxy's kind of you know YouTube brain spiked didn't it a little bit yeah I, I have done a, a YouTube channel before which I'm not going to mention because it's a bit embarrassing <laughs> nah, is it, it was a FIFA one so I, I've got I've dabbled in YouTube before mm. um, and then yeah Wayne's saying let's start filming them when I get an idea in my head about something that's it yeah so then yeah we just started we were, i said like yeah let's do it let's turn it into a youtube channel where was like yeah and then we started knocking names about and i think we had stuff like fox and edwards fishing and you know mm. different daft like names and stuff mm. knocking about and then eventually i said now nah, we need something that's got a bit more punch to it and then we came up with fresh fishing because the idea of fresh fishing came from fresh water fishing because we go for fishing in yeah. fresh water so that's well I think like didn't you think of that and then we kind of chose it together yeah yeah I think yeah. we've made a list yeah so I, I thought fresh water fishing and then I thought oh fresh fishing so yeah that's yeah, what I yeah we had this list and then we went yeah that's the best one so so yeah that was it before we move on for the insta ones look at this we've got a live question here Aquatic College I'll make Bry mm. He has asked us, what's your channel's plans for 2022 and where is your dream fishing venue? So, the plans for 2022, uh, we've kind of already gone over, obviously. We're going to be joining the Syndicate, so we're going to have a Syndicate um, playlist. We're going to be doing UK Blanks 2 <coughs> and feeding into the dream venue. It would probably be somewhere in France. Yeah. And lucky for us, we've been talking to Angling Lines and they want us to go and do another video next year so we're going to try and line something up there yeah definitely um abroad somewhere would be the dream because when you're pulling out 50s like foxy did like you just but not even just the 50s it, 30s at like like constant like it's just a, th a th or a 20 do you know what i mean how many 20s and 30s did we have between us yeah, yeah. like and they're like that's the average size of the fish is what's mental about France. Yeah, yeah. Um, but actually, I would have to say my dream venue would be Thailand. Oh, you pulled it out of the bag there, didn't you? Because again, obviously, we've watched Monster Carp before and stuff, and yeah, Monster Carp, the Thailand episodes that they do are mm. incredible. You know, to catch like, some of the Arapaima and the Siamese Carp and stuff that they do there. Eventually, we want to go over there. If the missus will let us go at some point, we might have to take them with we'll us. We'll probably have to merge a family holiday. They can it. they can chill while we fish. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's probably I'd say that's my, one of my dream venues, like Thailand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's got to be um, 
I don't know. I suppose I can only really go off like dream venues. I can only really go off like what I have seen on Monster Cop. Probably yeah. just like you. And obviously like that Gigantica. Yeah. Rings a bell. Yeah, yeah so that's called as one that they're in front, isn't it? Do you that know what I mean? Like yeah. that that would There's be some something special. So yeah. Don't really know anywhere in England that would be an actual dream venue because I think the lake we fished in France is probably better than anything England has to offer. Yeah. I, I mean, there's, there's there's places in the UK that I'd like to fish, but that's like linear and, yeah. and um, places like that, but then it's just so hard to get on, apparently, with like the day ticket system and stuff. So, mm. so yeah. Well, the Facebook ones. So we've only got three left. Danielle Begg, will you be going to the Northern Angling Show? In Feb. In February. Um, Possibly. One of our mate, Max, who was on the France video, he, he raves about it. Yeah, um, man. Yeah man. Yeah man. Yeah man. Yeah man. He raves about it and uh he was like you need to go like you could get loads of deals and all sorts so yeah we might do. We might do. I think we should go. I think we should grab old Max Kitchen in as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for all sure. Right. You buy the tickets. How much are they? I don't know. Fresh fishing can buy them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Um Nathan Winter. Favourite oh. North East venue. Love this question because for me there is only one. You know where it is. Tees Valley. Yeah, I think Tees Valley Fisheries is up there with probably, you know, some of the best fisheries in the country. Mm. In terms of, like, the lakes themselves are immaculate, the pegs are immaculate, the fish are immaculate. Like, it's run so well. Yeah. You know, the security around it. Yeah. I just think it has everything you would want from... A specie fishing lake. I mean, even the um, even the um, the course lake that yeah, they have yeah, there, yeah. Yarm Lake, yeah. is a top notch lake. Like yeah. you know, you go there with you know with with your with your little, little with your little kid, or you know you want to go with your mates just to feel a like, get a bend in the rod. Yeah, you're gonna catch. You know you're gonna catch there, um, and he put so much pride and effort into that place. He's done a fantastic job. Um, it's just a shame that, like, you know, we obviously used that place a lot when we first started up the channel, obviously with PB Busters. Um, so we have kind of exhausted it. I think there is still... Yeah, we would definitely want to go back. <coughs> there's definitely still some some um, unfinished business on um, Alpha Lake yeah. in particular. Yeah. Um, and I just think that we're so lucky to have that place on our doorstep. Yeah, it is, yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean... I'm trying to. I'm racking my brain for northeast venues, and I've got to say, like, if you're talking specie venue, then yeah, um, it's got to be Tees Valley. If you're uh, talking course venues, I've got to say Woodlands. Like, yeah, you can't you can't go wrong there. There's so so much opportunity there in terms of the amount of lakes and decent fish. That yeah, they're not in the best condition, but they're match they're, they're match fished, aren't they? Mm, so mm. that's going to be the case. Um, they are. I don't know if people have seen there. They're, they're sorting out specimen lake. Um, they're yeah. Knocking, they're knocking two lakes yeah, through cock yeah, pheasant yeah. and another one. And I think we will be doing a video on that. Because I think point. like the only kind of um, venue up here that's well for me that's similar is the Oaks, right? It's got quite a few lakes. Similar to Woodlands, yeah. Obviously, you've got um, cars, but there's only a couple of lakes there. Four, isn't there? Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, for me, Woodlands is... Um, in for course fishing. For course fishing, yeah. We've had some unreal sessions on some of the uh, lakes, lakes over there. Yeah. Yeah. Again, that's another place we're really lucky to have on our doorstep. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's the, the place that kind of started us fishing properly, really, mm. isn't it? Mm. So, um, yeah. I think there's always going to be a little bit of kind of sentimental love to, to both... Woodlands and Tees Valley, Tees yeah. Valley yeah, 100%, isn't there? 100%. The last question is, is to do with the social, so we've already answered that one. What are the chances from Dave Aaron Davis? What are the chances of a local social within the next year or so? Ah, cool. So, yeah, December, Woodlands, yeah. that's that's going to be the social. And then, yeah, if it, if it goes down a treat next year, we'll, we'll look to do another one. Mm. Yeah, that definitely. is all the questions. Thanks for the questions. Appreciated it. Yeah, that's quite a few there. Yeah, really good questions as well. I hope I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Like it's uh, something different. We're not fishing, but um, but yeah, it's good to to get to get together, do a bots, 
knock out a few questions, answer a few of your um, your questions there, and hopefully, it's kind of wet your lips for for what's to come next year. So there's a, there's a few things on on the cards. Yeah, don't forget, pop onto the um, the Fresh Fishing website www.freshfishing.co.uk and uh, yeah. Treat yourself to a little hoodie at least. Yeah. Um, it's going to go to a good cause. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're thinking, oh, these boys are going to be like making loads of money. Literally, all the money is going to be going back into the channel. We make enough money in our nine to fives. <laughs> 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 nah. Yeah. All the money, any money we make, back into the channel. New equipment, better editing software, or, or even helping us, you know, mm -hmm. go on fishing trips and stuff like that. So. Hundred percent. It'll be yeah. It'll be it'll be put towards you know food shop for the next UK blank you might be like, buying our next beer exactly that sort of stuff um, so yeah none of it would actually be going into our pockets personally it's nah. all to just try and make the channel better yeah and and again it's not something that we kind of thought of doing we got the the, the merch merchandise kind of just for ourselves for when we're out and about to make us feel like we're special and important yeah um, like a team and then obviously people have jumped on it, seen it in the videos and, and said, where can they buy it from? So yeah, by popular demand, we've put a website together and we've thrown some uh, some garments on there. The people ask and we deliver. That's all, that's all we've been doing. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, if you don't already, click the subscribe button and hit the alarm bell to get notifications. And we'll see you in the next one, which will probably be in early December, where we are going to try our hand at some pike fishing. And it mm. could go wrong. It will go wrong. <laughs> probably. I will probably have to wear gloves and Foxy will probably shout at me for doing it. Probably. And then I'll probably have to handle a pike if I catch one and then get bit or something and lose a finger. So, yeah, it could be pretty eventful. But we're going to try for some pike and hopefully we'll catch them. Yeah. Neither of us have caught a pike yet, have we? No. So that could be pretty, could be pretty funny. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers for watching guys. Thank you.